All right, ho, 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 ho. We're here to review uh, another uh, Christmas horror movie which uh, came out in the early 80s called, it ended up being called Christmas Evil by the distributors. The actual uh, writer-director's title was You Better Watch Out, which is kind of cool in a way, but it's one of those titles like Day of the Woman that's kind of like boring. You better watch out. Um, so I like kind of Christmas Evil more yeah, because it's, it's like Christmas E. Vol, much like uh, New Year's Evil, which uh, if we can get together in, in December, uh, have you seen New Year's Evil? That we can review that. <laughs> so, um, actually, uh, I didn't like, I seen Christmas Evil back probably when I was 13 years old when me and my dad were, were renting, we were going through all the Christmas War movies. So, this was one of them that, that you know, along with uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night that I saw. Now, Silent Night, Deadly Night is one aspect which is the more just blood and guts and breasts at aspect more for that would be more appealing to a 13 year old which it was at the time christmas evil when i saw it when i was probably around 13 was very uninteresting to me because it wasn't so much about breasts i don't think there's a single breast in the movie unfortunately except for in the playboy which that kid is looking at um but uh christmas evil is more like an adult movie which, which when I saw it later on when I was um, when I was in my early 20s I started to get because it was more about uh, the goofiness of the holiday season and, and, mm -hmm. and people getting working in, in toy factories and, and next to nothing and making toy plastic crappy toys and getting you know news about talk about them getting laid off after the holidays so Christmas Eve was much more of what I'd say an adult themed thing movie where, where kids aren't going to understand it, but when you're an adult and you actually have a job and all this kind of stuff and you hopefully are older and smarter to realize some of the absurdities of the holidays, <laughs> it, it's more of a social commentary in that aspect. So I'm going to go three stars for Christmas Evil. I think that, um, that the guy who, it, it's very funny, and it's actually, I think that's, it's, um, I can't remember exactly who's, but I think it's some, uh, some some star's favorite Christmas movie or something like that. I don't want to say the star without knowing for sure, but it's several people's favorite Christmas movie, and it's not my favorite Christmas movie, but it's a very confident Christmas movie. This guy who wrote and directed it got some European cinematographer to, to come in and then do the movie. And it actually looks, again, I think it's Synapse or Blue Underground. I get those confused, but they put out a couple years ago a DVD of it with a brand new transfer, and it's actually got the title before it, You Better Watch Out instead of Christmas Eve on the credits. So they put out a brand new, uh, you know, Anamorphic 16x9 uh, DVD, which is the definitive, if you're going to watch it, which is the one you should watch, of Christmas Evil. Unfortunately, he went back and he cut out, this is what he did on, on, on Maniac as well, is the director went back and he cut out some scenes that were in there since its release, and he calls it like the director's cut. Usually a director's cut <laughs> has yeah. more footage, yeah. not less, which is frustrating. And then just like Maniac, they put the deleted scenes, which are the move, scenes which had always been in the movie up until that release, as an extra. And it's like, okay, these, kind of this isn't that kind of dumb? And I kind of like those scenes because they've been there ever since I've seen it. So I don't, I don't, that's the only thing I don't agree with with that release is that when a director sees a movie 20, 30 years later, decides, I don't like this, and cuts it out because I think that a movie, if you made it then, it should be a, re a representation of what you made then, and I don't think you should really touch it, I, because that's what you made then, and obviously your, your, your idea is going to change 20, 30 years later, so just leave it alone. I, you might have different feelings about that as I can see you going like this, but it's, it's just a matter of opinion. But for me, when I, grow, when I see a movie forever, and this is how it is, and then you come up with a, a version that's cut, yeah. It's like, eh. I mean, the scene that he cut out was kind of unnecessary, but it was it was always there and it was kind of cool. So, so there you go. Um, I'm not going to go into the plot about Christmas Evil. It's it's again, it's got because of that European. I'm, I think he's a European cinematographer. It looks very cool. It looks very good, especially <laughs> it looks very cool, especially on the the new DVD, which unfortunately is cut from every version that had come before it. But. Um, it was filmed in New York, and the, the guy, I can't remember his name right now, but the lead guy that they got to play the lead guy is phenomenal as, uh, as, as just a goofy guy. He's basically, well, I'm not going to go into the plot because we're, we're, we're just going to, I swear, I swear I'm not going to go into the plot. But I'll just leave it at that. Christmas Evil, a.k.a. You Better Watch Out, is a very cool entry. Kids probably ain't going to like it as much as Silent Night, Deadly Night because it's, it doesn't, it's not so much about on-screen violence as much as it's just... Uh, insight into someone who's obsessed with Christmas and maybe a little off his nut 
uh, a story about some of that individual character and his story. Yeah. So I've never seen it. It sounds and you actually sold it on me. Like I, I do want to see it now. It yeah, like it's cool. it's it's more like I say, it's more and of an adult. When you said you better watch out, I was like, you know, I don't really like that title. But the more you say it, like I, I get the Christmas connection, oh, like yeah. the lyrics from the song, and like I'm like, you know what? I, I think that title's growing on me. But Christmas Evil sounds so much more in your face. Oh yeah, cool, it's, so. it's 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 Christmas Evil is when you hear it, it's like yes, and you better watch out. Is a title that's more like. The more you think about it, the more yeah, the like it probably like, relates to the movie better. But yeah, yeah. There's there's a very 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 good chance that Christmas Evil is on YouTube in its entirety. So I'd I'd recommend to you and maybe anyone else out there who hasn't seen it uh, to just search it on YouTube because I don't think there's a single like I say breast in it. So you could probably get by putting the movie on YouTube, and I'm sure someone has. I'm sure it's like like some of the older releases are like public domain anyway. So. That might be a good bet. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. So uh, that's Christmas Eve review from me, and uh, you guys have a happy Christmas. Happy Christmas, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> happy Christmas. We'll catch you later. Peace.